Okay, this is a <coughs> excuse me. This is a tutorial to show how to add ClickBank banner ads to your WordPress blog um, in your widget area using a text widget. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is log into your ClickBank account. You can see I've logged in here. Um, what we need to do is first get the code that we're going to use to link to the ClickBank product and obviously we need to find the product as well. So if we log into our account, this is the first screen you'll see, and then you click on Marketplace, then <clears throat> you have two options. You can either select a category from the left hand side and they go deeper into different categories, or you can just type in the product you've got and find the product. So we'll type in, uh, we want to find some mixed martial arts stuff, so we'll type in MMA and then hit search. Okay, and these are the results. So there's 49 results. Um, you can list them in relevance of keywords, which one's the most uh, relevant to what you've actually typed in, or there's average sales, initial sales, stuff like that. We'll just leave it at uh, keyword relevance. So the one I've actually put on the blog already is the online MMA training, which is a 50% reoccurring uh, money making uh, product. So what you can do is, if you just wanted to do ads like this on the right hand side, so just text ads, no banners, um, you would click on the promote button. You can put in a tracking ID so it will have your account nickname and then it gives you a tracking ID. Let's just do test one. Create. Okay, so if you just wanted to copy and paste some code into a text widget and it would do everything for you but the ads would just be um, text ads then you would copy this you can see it's got test in there because that's what you called it uh, and all these details linked to your account so every time someone clicks through and purchases that product it will come back to your account and obviously you'll get the uh, money from that um, so you could you could copy that um, and then paste it into a text widget um, but that's not what we're, what we what we want to do we want to actually get a, a picture banner um, so in order to do that we need to manually do it so you're going to be using this link at the top which is literally just a uh, URL um, it just links to a web page um, but obviously if it just links to a web page we need to give it a picture so we'll close uh, we'll close this window for now what you want to do is with any of these products you want to check that they have a good affiliate um, area because that's where all the pictures are going to be. There's lots and lots of people down here but I've already looked through most of these and hardly any of them have decent picture banners. You could get someone to create one for you and then just uh, place that on your site but it's better if you can get one that they've already designed. So if we look, if we click on here, this will go through to the page and this is damage control, this is where your uh, customers will go when they click on the link from your website. So we want to scroll. Normally, if you scroll all the way down, got some different stuff on here. We won't worry about. You'll see right at the bottom there's affiliates. So that's what we want. We click on affiliates, and then these are all the banners you can use. So they've got banners for us. Um, this is the one we want to use. And if I click to the website, you can see that we've already got it inserted there. But I'm just going to show you how to do that again. Um, Okay, so we'll go back to uh, ClickBank. Okay, so all you would do to save this is right click, then save image as. Uh, then we'll just save that in pictures. Um, I've already got one saved there, but we'll just save this. Test MMA image. So we'll save that. Okay, so that's saved. Once you've done that, we can then go to your. Um, uh, I've just noticed that we're going to run out of time on this one because you can only do five minutes at a time. Um, but I'll do part two and then add that as well. Um, so, what we want to do is go to your uh, blog admin area. I've already got that open, so that, and you need to uh, just go to your media and add new because so you want to add a picture. Okay, and we're going to have to go to another tutorial now. So it's not like that. 